Hi everyone, my name is Roger Stramkowski and I am a Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at SnapLogic. Today I'm going to walk you through a simple use case demonstration of Snap GPT. Uh, this scenario is going to be one where we pull data from Salesforce. We're going to pull opportunity data from Salesforce. We're going to load it into Snowflake after filtering it out for uh, last fiscal quarter. This could be a situation where you know a team is getting ready to prepare for QBRs. Uh, they need to get the data into Snowflake, have it ready for a BI tool, a dashboard. In any case, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to paste my prompt into the lower right hand corner of um, the interface here. Uh, you can see it matches what we just said, right? We're fetching our opportunities from Salesforce. We're going to filter it by removing all records that are before February 1st and after April 30th. Uh, what we're really doing is we're saying if it's an offset fiscal quarter from you know February, March and April, uh, we can go ahead and process that. And then we're going to load it into Snowflake. So we're going to um, give SnapGPT here a second to process this. So you can see here that uh, SnapGPT is done. It's created a preview of the pipeline. This is about what I would expect, um, just three snaps to go ahead and complete this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit import on a new tab. And the first thing we're gonna get is the add new pipeline. This is part of our, uh, part of SnapLogic's importing a pipeline process. And I've been working with this a bit, so I'm just gonna add a two at the end. Now, you'll notice that SnapGPT is telling us here that uh, it's going to highlight any fields that it has modified. And then specifically, we can see in this case that it's highlighted the label field. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to go to the next part of SnapLogic's pipeline import process, which would be to choose the accounts. Right. Uh, many of our customers would have different accounts. They could have QA accounts. They could have dev accounts. They could have prod accounts. Uh, so rather than us make an assumption, we just want to go ahead and as part of that configuration wizard, prompt them to go and pick the right one that they want to use. Now, once I hit uh, next a couple times there, you're going to see that it is validating. We can see that down towards the bottom. And when it completes validation, it'll give us an understanding of where our pipeline's at. So here we can see we're reading from Salesforce. I'll go ahead and exit here. You can see Salesforce worked. It is green and it has a dark page here indicating that it has some documents coming out. We can take a look at those just to see, you know, yes, it is uh, yet yeah, or yes, it does have some. Now we want to double check, right? We asked Salesforce for opportunities, but let's just verify, uh, right? Because we still need a human touch on some of this. So you can see here it processed some documents. So let's just open filter and double check. And here you can see that it got the expression correct. So we're looking for a close date greater than or equal to February 1st and less than or equal to April 30th. All right. So the final piece would be to check on our snowflake. And I didn't tell Snap GPT where to land it. So we're going to go ahead and just clear this out and choose our locations quick. So I want to look for my schema in Snowflake. And then I'm going to look at my tables uh, since it's going to be a context sensitive um, suggestion feature. And I have one in here for opportunities. So I'm going to save this and then it's going to revalidate again at this point, but it would be completely ready to execute this and have that data moved over into Snowflake where it could be uh, enriched, further modified. You could use Snap, Snap Logic to do uh, push down manipulation of the data, cleanse it, enrich it, pull it back if you want to. Just the beginning of the journey, but a quick example of what Snap GPT can do for you today. Thank you.